A local group is busy right now counting all the whales that are passing by close to our coastline. The first migration has included about 600 whales so far. It's called the general population. Now comes the mothers and the calves. They'll arrive here in big numbers this month. The group is set up at Coal Oil Point near UC Santa Barbara to log the whales they see every day. And it is a prime spot where the whales come very close to shore. Sometimes people will first see the whales at Campus Point, uh -huh. and they'll walk all the way along the bluff here and end up here, and they'll say, what's going on? <laughs> and we're able to tell them what's going on. And the whale migration does not take a break for weather or even nighttime. The counters adjust their numbers, assuming they are only seeing about a third of the whales that are actually out there. Oh, it's so special to see those. A condor chick hatching is a sight that only a handful of biologists have ever witnessed. But a camera catching these incredible images was installed in the nesting cave of a California condor pair. This is shortly after the female laid an egg. The plan was just to monitor the nest in the Sespe wilderness, but then the, when the egg there went missing. The plan worked. Biologists coordinated with the Los Angeles Zoo to get a California condor egg produced in captivity up to that nest. And it successfully hatched today. Programs like this are what helped these birds from becoming extinct. Just 25 years ago, there were only two dozen condors in existence. Today, there are roughly 430, with more than half of the population free-flying. Okay, Mike Land joining us now with sports and two words, play ball. That's right. It's the exciting season. time. Yeah. Everyone thinks they're going to win, but I think San Francisco's already planning a victory parade. <laughs> Should they even play the 2016 Major League Baseball season? After all, it's an even year, and the San Francisco Giants have won World Series titles in 2010, 2012, and 2014. Oh, even if you don't believe in all of that, the Giants are expected to be very good this year. San Francisco opening up at Milwaukee. Matt Duffy's two run over in the fifth, put the Giants up 7 3. Denard Spann's Giants debut is a big hit. He clubs his three-run blast in the eighth. He had five RBI. Next batter up, Joe Panic homered. And so did the next man up, superstar Buster Posey. The Giants go back to back to back in the eighth. San Francisco powers their way past the Brewers 12-3. Madison Bumgarner gets the victory. Hey, the Dodgers opening up their season in San Diego having all kinds of fun. Right now in the top of the eighth inning, L.A. is up 14 to nothing. No home runs, but 10 Dodgers have at least one hit. Clayton Kershaw worked seven innings of one hit ball. Highlights at 11. The Angels have their season opener at the top of the hour. They're going to host the Chicago Cubs, who many experts believe is the team to beat this year, believe it or not. Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson headlined a 10-member class heading into the 2016 Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. That class also includes Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo, Houston Rockets, big center Yao Ming, and Former WNBA star Cheryl Swoops, Shaq won four NBA titles and is a 15-time All-Star. Most proud of being able to win championships, uh, win multiple championships. Uh, three in a row is very, very hard to do. And, and then you leave and then you go win another one. Shaq winning three titles in L.A. and one in Miami. The induction ceremony is going to take place on September 9th. And of course, the NCAA wraps up their college basketball men's season tonight. That's North that. Carolina, Villanova, national championship game underway right now. Very close in the first half. Carolina has a two-point lead at last check, 25-23. Good to see Shaq in there. Oh, yeah. Shaq's always fun, isn't he? Yeah, he is. A lot of good energy. Person. Huge personality. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mike. Authorities are warning about a growing scam called ransomware. Hackers disable personal computers and even entire networks, then demand a ransom to give the users their files back. It's called ransomware, and they are targeting everybody from consumers to businesses and municipalities. Who should be concerned? Everyone should be concerned. The ransomware is communicating with a server. The server is sending instructions here to start encrypting all these files. Now, once a computer is infected, it encrypts all the files or locks the users out until they pay for the key. In 2015, the Bureau received, the, the FBI, by the way, received more than 2,400 complaints, and the victims lost more than $24 million. It's only going to get worse. Experts say it's important to avoid clicking on suspicious links that can allow hackers into your computer. Also, Please, it's important, back up your files. A major airline merger is announced today, and a popular maker of some baby products pledges to get rid of a controversial chemical. Jane King has those stories and more in tonight's business update. 
Alaska Air makes it official. It has clinched the deal to buy Virgin America. That means it bested rival JetBlue. Now, the sales price is about $4 billion. If the deal survives regulatory approval, it will create the nation's fifth largest airline. West Coast airports would feel the impact the most, with Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Seattle likely seeing the biggest changes. Well, there are lots of changes in the business of baseball this season. More teams are changing how they accept tickets due to counterfeiting. Some teams are requiring fans use a traditional paper ticket or an e-ticket on their smartphones. Meanwhile, as the season kicks off, the secondary market shows the average ticket to attend a Major League Baseball game is $81. That's according to Tick IQ, and that's down slightly from last year. Well, Staples has offered to freeze prices for three years to get the merger with Office Depot done. The New York Post says it told a judge it was open to that compromise to win regulatory approval of its $6.3 billion deal. The offer came after new settlement talks with the Federal Trade Commission failed. And one of the country's largest makers of natural shampoos and skin cleansers says it is reformulating dozens of products and dropping claims that they don't contain a certain chemical. Now that chemical is sodium lauryl sulfate, a cleaning agent commonly used, but some believe it could increase the risk of cancer. Haynes Celestial's products include Earth's Best Baby Shampoo, Zia Natural Skin Care, and Alba Botanica. It expects the changes to be complete by late this year or early next year. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your business update. Can we hear that right? $81 to a baseball game? I, I was going to say, I'm going to wait till Mike Klan gives me tickets. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll go to a you baseball game. You might be waiting game. a while. $81 a ticket. Stay with us. We'll be right back.